Hi guys, my name is Bill and what I want to show you today are the condenser coil locations on a couple different refrigerators. Now it's important to know where the condenser coils are at because you're going to need to clean these maybe every six months or every year just depending on how dirty your house is and how many animals you have. So let me go ahead and show you. The first machine I'm going to show you is a refrigerator top freezer refrigerator. I'm going to show you where the condenser coils are at on that. Now on some refrigerators the coils will be on the back of the refrigerator. Now if you pull your fridge out from the wall and you got a bunch of black metal lines on the back those are your condenser coils and to clean those all you want to do is just grab a wet rag and just wipe them off now if you don't have the coils on the back what you're going to want to do is pull the machine out from the wall and you'll have a cardboard or metal cover on the back it's going to be held in with a couple screws I've already taken these ones out and just move this out of the way and then what you're going to find are your condenser coils underneath the bottom of the refrigerator and that's these coils here. Easiest way to clean these is with a skinny attachment on a shop vac and basically just vacuum them out. Make sure there's no hair while you're back here just go ahead and vacuum the rest of the areas out. Be careful not to stick your fingers in the fan and you know, don't break the fan blades. Don't knock anything off your compressor over here. Don't bend any of your lines. That'd be real bad. So there you have it on a Frigidaire top freezer. Right here is going to be your condenser coils right on the back underneath the bottom of the machine. Alright so there you have it. That is where you find the coils on our Frigidaire. Now let me show you where to find the coils on a GE top freezer. It could be labeled as a Kenmore refrigerator, a hot point, or something similar to that. But these ones are a little bit harder to find because you can't just pull the cover off the back and then see the coils. So let me show you how to check, the, uh, check and clean the coils on you know a typical GE refrigerator. Now here's a pretty common GE refrigerator. This is one of the absolute most common refrigerators that I run into. And to clean the coils on these ones here, you're going to want to pull this refrigerator out from the wall and then tip it over. Now let me show you what that looks like. Now when you remove the cover on the back of this one you're going to notice that you don't really see any of the coils like you saw in the Frigidaire. You have your compressor, and a bunch of insulation. I don't know how easy that is to see. I don't think so. But you get your fan and more insulation, but there's no condenser coils. They're actually on the bottom of the refrigerator. Now let me show you. All right. So what I've done was pull the fridge out from the wall, turn it sideways, and I've leaned it up against the uh, the wall just enough so it stays. You don't want to tip it over much farther than than what this looks like right here. So underneath the bottom of the refrigerator, we look up. And there are your condenser coils right there. Those black coils. And what you would just do with those is vacuum them out. Now you can see a bunch of hair right here. But a lot of these ones here, if they haven't been cleaned in a while, you won't even be able to see those coils. It'll just be a big lint blanket underneath there. But right there's the coils on your GE's, Kenmore's, Hot Points. You just got to tip the machine over. You're not going to hurt the machine if you tip it over, you know, just enough to get it to stay up like that. This is not going to hurt anything. You can, you know, you definitely want to unplug the refrigerator from the wall. You don't want the compressor running tipped over, but you can tip it over, clean the coils, set it back down, plug it back in. It'll be just fine. So there you have it. It's very important to clean the coils on your refrigerator periodically, at least every six months. That will cause your compressor to overheat it will cause it to stop cooling. If you're hearing a buzzing and a clicking sound and your food starts to thaw out, you know, that's usually the first thing you want to check right there is if those condenser coils are completely blocked up with lint and hair and whatever you have in your kitchen on the floor that's dirty, that will cause your compressor to overheat and will cause your refrigerator to stop cooling. So that's basically the first thing you want to do, especially if that hasn't been done in a while. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And good luck.